Hello everyone and we are today going to learn how we can do this effect which is when we hover on our first heading of this container it basically does this uh, image shown and if I go on the left side it does this dragging kind of effect you could see if I go left it does that if you go right it, it does that if I go to the second heading it does the second image third image fourth image now in this video uh, you can see the first image and third image is same but it doesn't matter I just kept it same because I got lazy but you could keep like any type of design or any sorry any type of image and if you move your mouse towards left this is how it goes and it is completely responsive so no worries about it and I'll also be providing a template for this one in the description so if you want to use it feel free to use it and also if you wish to buy Elementor Pro again this one does not require Elementor Pro but if you wish to buy it consider using the link in description along with like Hostinger hosting link in description and again yeah that's how you could support me by just like using the links or just doing the liking and subscribing so let's quickly get started now first thing first I'm going to show you how we can make this forced containers like this and again I'm going to show you guys the code but I cannot explain the whole code to you guys I'll explain just as much as possible but if I tried to explain the whole code the video would get like way too big and also the fact that I also don't really understand the whole code because I did change some stuff and I also asked like chat GPT to do some stuff for me okay <laughs> because uh, again I was not able to figure out uh, with my brain and that's like very normal you just copy paste code uh, from the internet but uh, let's just stop talking and start making it so I'm going to just make this into center and again you don't don't really need to have containers like this you could do anything you could do any animation that you want uh, the main goal is to show you guys this uh, this container that is moving okay so first thing first I'll name this one as uh, I guess like I guess title container or something okay you could you could name it anything I'm just keeping it consistent let's do full width and then I'm just going to give this one a class of dm dash item. So adding this CSS class, it allows us to make the container which is like invisible visible. And wherever the dm item class is used, the container would be visible. Okay. So if you even if you give something else like this text or anything, it would be visible as you hover on it. But we want to give it on our uh, container like this. Instead of this, I'll add my heading. Now again, I don't think I want. I should show you guys how to do this customization and all in this video because our main goal is to like just do the normal stuff which is the moving container but but I'll just quickly run through it so that you guys you guys can see how it works in case you want to see how I made the design at least so like this make it go from left to right uh, not this make it center like this okay and instead of this I simply just added an icon and then I'm just going to copy paste it from here okay so basically an icon and then did all the styling so I'm not going to go in in depth okay and this one is given DM list icon like this and this is our first container so I can simply just give it a border of I guess one pixel at the bottom with white color like this and you get this border and then if you duplicate now you could see how it looks also make sure we remove the gap so that it is like this and we get the effect which is same as this much okay i will be creating a video showing how you could do this grid borders and any type of uh what you call this grid layout or any other background uh, pattern because lots of people are not familiar with the best method to do it this is not an image because uh, if you use like a better method it uh, it changes the grids with the screen size basically rather than having an image which would just stretch or get smaller so each of these have like dm item class like this okay now our next step is to add another container and make sure you add it inside this container probably below this one but i don't think it matters but still consider adding it below and we will name it something like moving container that way we know which one is which i'll make this full width I'll make this smaller and this one is the container that is going to be shown when we hover on it okay so whatever styling you do around here would be applied to this one okay we will give it some class like this or size I mean so 350 looks good and then if we go into our moving container so this code would be given below 
uh, we'll just make sure you select this container and then give this a class of moving dash container like this in your container type html and then paste this and as soon as you paste it you could see something happen and suddenly our code is working kinda because we also need to give our uh, let me see what i have given i don't remember so we need to give a css class of dm list text around here like this and you could say it does not work that is because we have to remove the color like this and make it p i guess yep there we go also you you can do the styling later on okay so make it like bold or anything and you could say it just works so now if i do preview changes and let's see how it looks on our desktop like this and you could see this is how it looks and again the container is way too big because right now it looks good so if i go into my moving container so make sure you actually do like all the styling and all before you add this code else it would just like be annoying to work with okay so obviously you could play around with it or you could also make it like pixel based or you could do like max and min if you do if you know how to do that so let's just do this and this is how it looks because it is set to 20 but we could do pixel based so maybe 200 oops 500 too much 300 would make it like this okay so now the sizing is like perfectly same no matter which screen size if you want to use percentage you could do that so i like percentage so i'll do let's say like 20 so you could see this is all it took to just do the animation which is just adding the code and giving like the right class but one thing you would see that the image is not actually changing because to do that we need to select our first container like this and we have to give it a class of which i don't remember what class i've given first item okay so the first one would be called so first one would be called just do space and do first item oops first item like this and then the second container would be called second item like this second item and then third one would be called the third item just do space to third item like this and let's see what happens you could see that the first image changes to this one and then third is like this so how does this code work uh let me give you a better explanation or the quick explanation so remember we gave our container which is the moving container a class of moving container and we just change it to have position fixed that way it would just follow our mouse wherever it is so currently you could see that the mouse is actually following us following us obviously it is not done with just position fix also javascript is used but uh, it is actually following our mouse but we have given it opacity of zero and we have also given it, given it pointer events none so given in, giving it pointer events none makes our click just pass through our container so this container is not clickable anymore so which is why you have to use this uh, navigator to click around here and opacity zero to hide it so currently it is following our mouse but as soon as we hover on dm item which is you could see on let me check it okay So you could see around here when we hover on dm item we are changing the moving container which is like the sibling to opacity one like this so as soon as we hover on it it changes it to opacity one and here you could see we have given first item on hover change the moving containers background image to this url so let's say if you want to change something you just need to change this url and where where you could get this url basically go into like your uh, you could go from here or anywhere which allows to select the media like this and make sure the images are same in size okay or else there would be like weird stretching and stuff and simply just select any one of them uh, copy your file url like this and just paste it inside those double dots like this so right now i have added till four but let's say if you want to do fifth one all you simply need to do is copy this one change this to fifth like this fifth and then when you create a container make sure the fifth one is called fifth item and just change the background image url to that one also one more thing that you might see that the image gets like weirdly stretched you could see but it does not does that for first and second because the first image that i'm using 
i don't know if it will uh, let me do opacity one let's see if that shows okay so you could see the first image that we are using is actually not the same size or same resolution as the second and third image so make sure the images that you use have like the same resolution else there would be like weird stretching like this and also if you don't want to have this first image at all you could simply just remove this text and that then there would be like no what you call no image at all like this and you could see right now the image is white currently like this so if if you just type background color in your moving container like this and then do white it would change the background image to like white color and then it will show the image so like this when we hover on it so right now if i do zero opacity you could say it will show like this or we can simply just do like transparent too why not that way it would look like better when it comes in like this so if you want to have that container a uh, default image you could add around here or you could simply change this to like background color transparent around here and it would be good uh, another thing is if we scroll down to the code here you could see that here it is saying that moving container style transform here you could change the rotation angles for the left and right okay so you could change this to like 30 degree right now it is 25 so if i move left it would have maximum of 25 degree tilt but you could do anything which you want if you want to do 30 50 just change it to whatever you need and this is like the timeout so basically when you stop moving you could see it changes to like the default uh what you call what is this called like default state or like state state it is not a rotating state and that is where i have added which is like 20 so you could you could increase this and that and it would take like longer to like get back to the default state but if you uh, reduce it it would be faster rest of it is basically just normal code if you slowly move your container you could see it does like this weird effect you could see which is why i added a threshold which means that there needs to be more movement so you cannot just slowly move it and then hope that uh, the container like rotates okay so it needs to be a higher movement of your mouse from left to right so you could see if i move like move it slowly it's not doing much stuff it's not rotating but if i move like a lot then only it rotates so that is the threshold and i've kept it to five you could increase or lower it this one is basically to just uh, make the container follow your mouse and i think that's all it's not really that complicated to do and the rest of it is basically normal css that is like when we hover on a container this uh, icon should go towards right and then the color of the background should change and all that is just normal css that you could find around here so you could see that the cursor is getting hidden when we hover on it the background is changing to white you could see then the text the text color is changing to white on hover oh sorry the back, the default color of the text is white then we have when we hover on the item which is this one we change the dm class to be black color so you could see it changes to black color the text color around here then we have the I elementor icon so when we hover on the dm item which is this one we are just making the uh, color of the icon to be black and then moving it a bit towards right like this and then this one is just changing from 0 to 1 opacity and then you could simply just keep adding it to have your stuff around here and it is fully responsive rest of it is javascript that's all you need to do just make three con uh, make containers like this give it a class of dm item and as soon as you add the dm item class it would just add this effect and then first item second item third item allows you to add your specific image around there so that's pretty easy to do and uh, i'm also planning to uh, make a template for it probably paid i don't know if i'll make it free or paid but we'll see, you can see it in the description i don't know if it's paid or uh, free I, ha I haven't decided yet but this is also a page that i'm building on uh, with gsap which has like lots of animation that i'm going to create pretty soon again i'm not going to teach every single part of it but i'm going to teach you the basics so that you could do for every single animation that you want like this you could see i've already created like videos on this stuff or how to do the text stuff and again this is one thing and this is another tutorial that i'm going to show as i scroll down it changes direction like this so yeah thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed and consider liking and subscribing goodbye